Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel and welcome back to the Pinini and Football Manager sticker opening series, uh, day two. And we're going to open two more packs today. Uh, in the last video, we did select Raphael Varane for our squad, a French player. Uh, it was a bit messy, the video. I'm going to try and make it a little bit cleaner today. And I've gone ahead by officially actually putting down some rules which are on my Twitter as well. So now these are the rules that I adhere to every video. So the rules are that I open two packs per video and of those 10 stickers I choose one player to go into my squad on Football Manager 2018 uh, and the limitations I have that I can have no more than two players per nation. If I pack a player then that means that I can choose that player from my squad. Uh, and then the other things, I can only do each of these things a maximum of three times. So for example, if I pack a squad sticker, for example in the last video I got the France squad sticker which allowed me to pick whichever French player I wanted. So if I get the squad sticker then I can pick any player from that nation as long as they're in the sticker album. If I pack the badge of a nation, I don't think we've got any badges yet but I'm not certain, uh, but that means that I can pick any player of that nationality. They don't have to be qualified for the World Cup, they don't have to be in the book. So for example, I said this last time, if I get the England badge, I can pick Jack Butland despite him not being in the stick book. If I get a stadium, then I can pick any player as I want as long as they are valued £30 million or lower. Likewise, if I pack a host city, I can pick any player under £30 million. They don't have to be from a qualified nation. So um, with the stadiums, it has to be a team that's in the World Cup. Um, and it could be anyone under £30 million on the game. But if I get a host city, then I could pick a team that's not in the World Cup. I could go for maybe a Dutch player, or I could go for an Italian player. You know, they don't have to be in the World Cup. If I get a sticker that is either at the front of the book, so it could be the trophy, which I've already got, or the ball, or it could be uh, in at the end of the book, you've got the Legends page where you've got the multiple winners and some star players. If I get one of those, then there's no limitations and I can pick whoever I want. But all of those miscellaneous stickers fall under one thing, so I can only do that a maximum of three times as well. So I think that's all the rules that you need to know. So let's get into number two. I've got my album here. There it is, the album. And uh, let's go back into my tin and get two more packs out. In the last episode, we got our very first swaps. Uh, in the description of this video will be all of my swaps to date. I've got three at the moment. We've got this guy here, Kim Sung Yu from Korea who uh, strangely was not in the Football Manager 2018, wasn't in the database, so I can't actually, if I were to choose him, I can't actually use him, so I wouldn't use him, but I say, he's there and he's not in the game. Bertrand's another player that we picked up as a swap, and uh, the other one is uh, this gentleman here, Rashid Alioui, who uh, is a Moroccan, and he's a duplicate as well. So we've got two, uh, three duplicates at the moment. So let's go into two more packs and uh, let's see who we're going to get today and who is going to be joining Rafa Varane in our squad. So we have one French player, so that means that I can pick one more French player and that is all. So let's see who we've got here. Uh, we have an Iranian player who plays for Esteglal in Iran. Uh, his name is Peyman Montezeri. Don't think I'll be using him. We've got a Saudi player called Taisir Al Jassim who plays for Al Ali Saudi FC. There he is. There we go. Putting him in front of my face seems to be the way to actually get them to. Uh, putting him in front of my face seems to be to get them out of focus. Uh, an Egyptian from Braga, Ahmed Hassan. There we are. Uh, we've got a shiny and we have a badge. And would you know it? It's Germany. So uh, that's a shiny. That means that I can pick any German player I want. So that's pretty good. Uh, oh, and also, we've got a right back, and it's a swap, but uh, it's someone that I got in my starter pack, and it's Daniel Carvajal, who, as I said in my starting video, is one of the best right backs in the world. So I've got a couple of options there, but I've got one more pack to open. But Carvajal is a duplicate. He's already in the book, so that would be a swap as well. In the second pack today, let's see who's going to be in this one. There's a QR code on the back of one of these. I don't know if that's good or bad. Let's see who we have here. I think this guy is a duplicate. He's a Saudi player. And uh, there he is. It's uh, Yasha Al Sharani. Plays for Al Hilal. I'm not sure if that's a dupe or not. We've got someone from Iceland. Plays for Lockeren. It's Ari Skolasen. 
Motaz Hossawi is also Saudi, plays for uh, Al Ali. Uh, we've got a stadium, it's the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow, capacity 80,000 players, 80,000 players, 80,000 fans. Now the stadiums mean that I can choose any player from the World Cup, any player from the album that's uh, 30 million pounds or under. But um, I think considering I've got Carvajal and I've got the German squad, I don't think we'll be using that. And the final sticker of the video, it's another shiny, it's another badge, and it's Australia's badge. So, you know, a couple of shiny ones in there, that's not too bad. But um, it's between Carvajal or a German player. So let's have a look at the Germany page and see who we could potentially get. So we've got the goalkeeper Manuel Neuer, uh, we've got Mats Hummels, Antonio Rudiger, Jerome Boateng, Joshua Kimmich, John S. Hector, Julian Draxler, Tony Crows, Emre Chan, Leon Goretzka, who we've already got as a sticker, Julian Brandt, Sebastian Rudi, Leroy Sane, Meza Ozil, Sami Kadira, Mario Goetz, uh, Thomas Muller, or Timo Werner. Now there's some good players there. Carvajal's good as well. Now we got a centre back last time, so I think we're going to try and get someone who's not a defender. We're going to try and sort out the spine of the team first of all. So we are going to choose. I don't want to go with Neuer or go with a striker. Let's have a look at Football Manager and see you know, who we could get. Okay, so uh, Carvajal will be able to see, I think. Uh, let's have a look and see. So this is where I was trying to see if the Korean player was in there. I loaded all Korean players and he still wasn't there. So what we're going to do is we're going to find Germany. This is Asia, that's why he's not there. We're going to find Germany. Uh go for players of German nationality so there's 14 and a half thousand players to choose from uh, and uh, you know we'll have Carvajal in there as well so let's put the um, Spanish team in there as well I think it's between Neuer and uh, Werner for a striker or maybe Müller I'm not sure what Müller's like on the game but I know Timo Werner's a good striker concerns me though that we're going to have Neuer and Varane, who are the best goalkeeper in the world and one of the best centre-backs in the world. So I've got a feeling that by the end of this series, my squad is going to be ridiculously good. Now again, at the moment, I'm going to use this squad and put them into the Premier League. If it's possible, I am going to include it into the World Cup, but I don't know that that can be done. So if you do know a way to do that, then do let me know in the comments or message me on Twitter. Because I know that you can't... Uh, add a new nation you have to like, alter a prior existing nation like Yugoslavia and change them uh, and then as well you'd have to change the nationality of all the players and you know they've already committed to playing for a country so I'm not sure how it work so for the sake of this we've just taken charge of Bayern München and we're going to load up um, every German player you know this is probably easier than doing it in the draft because you know in the draft there's five minute shortlist you're kind of limited to what amount of time you can look so if we just go to player search and just add in all german players we should be able to uh pick a team out so the highest uh, valued player is actually marco royce but um i think we're gonna go for a forward which i think is gonna be Werner, unless we find um unless we find muller who, muller, who can't seem to find well, he's playing for Bayern anyway, isn't he? So uh, here's Thomas Müller. He's actually more of a like a winger, like Ramdoit is his best role. Um, but he could be played as a forward. If we have a look at Timo Werner, what's he like? See, Werner is an advanced forward, 14 finishing, off the ball 16, physically very good, acceleration, 18 pace as well, um, 17 balance. Or we could just go for Manuel Neuer who, you know, he's got a couple of 20s in there, and anticipation and composure as well. 31. Um, it's difficult, you know, picking any German player you want in here. All right, I've made my decision, and it's going to be Manuel Neuer. It's going to join Rafael Varane. You know, he's the best goalkeeper in the world, apart from maybe De Gea. I don't, maybe, maybe Neuer is the best, you don't know. You know, he's, he's the World Cup winner as well. He's a defending champion as goalkeeper, so, you know... You know, we're going to pick Neuer, so it's going to be Neuer joining Rafael Varane in my squad. So that's going to do it for today. Join me tomorrow for day number three, where we're going to open two more packs. Now, of course, I've got some swaps here, so uh, they'll be going in the description. And if I am to, you know, be out and about anywhere and you see me, it's not likely. But if you do see me, then, you know, ask for my swaps. I've got 
five, I think now, maybe six, I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, two more packs tomorrow. Uh, join me then. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments. If you want to see videos as I'm going to listen up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm planning to get the next Maidstone video out tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do for it though, so I can't guarantee it'll be ready. Uh, if it's not, then I will just skip Tuesday and go on to Thursday, which sucks because I'll be missing a day for the first time since my new schedule. But um, yeah, I'm just trying to work my way through preseason and trying to sign some players. So it might it might be late. And if it is, I do apologise, but I'm going to try my best to get it ready for Tuesday. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.